China's simp economy has crashed. The once romantic confession day, May twentieth, is now labeled as, by many men, as gold diggers' day. The public opinion suggests this directly proves that men are waking up. China's simp economy has crashed. Men around the world are now realizing that the juice is no longer worth the squeeze. Watch to the end of the video to understand what the consequences are of China's collapsing simp economy. And how this affects women not only in China but women all around the world. And now let's just go ahead and jump right back into the video. As the tradition of men unilaterally buying gifts for women led to unequal spending and returns for men. Sometimes, if they bought the wrong gift or not enough, instead of praise, they face criticism. Many now believe it's better to spend money on themselves or their families. Pursuing a relationship not only requires money but also time and effort. For simps, long-term dedication does not bring certainty, only increasing sunk costs. Moreover, in the current economic downturn, the pressures from unemployment and housing prices, young people are losing confidence in the future. Nowadays, many young people believe that making money is better than finding a partner. In the midst of busy working schedules, managing a relationship that requires significant financial expenditures has become a burden. When times are good, they might have indulged a bit, but when money is tight and expectations are lowered, they have to consider cost effectiveness. With limited funds, investing in a vague dream seems less appealing than spending on oneself and enjoying life in the present. Due to the collapse of the simp economy, businesses have experienced the worst sales on record for this May twentieth. Scenes of ten yuan for five bouquets and piles of flowers and garbage bins seems to be announcing to the Chinese society there is no way we're spending money for love. This was a scene on May twentieth this year. The video showed beautifully packaged flowers. Which used to be the most sought-after items on this day, now reduced to ten yuan for five bouquets at street stalls. Flowers, ten yuan for five bouquets, ten yuan for five bouquets. Despite this, there are still very few customers, and most of them are women. It's important to know that in previous years, these flowers were in high demand on May twentieth. If you didn't reserve them in advance, buying on the day meant outrageous prices and uncertain availability. But now, piles of flowers are turning into mountains of garbage, and no one wants them. Previously, on May twentieth, the area around trash bins would be filled with beautifully packaged flowers and gifts. You could make more money by scavenging around a trash bin than by going to work. But this year's May twentieth, trash bins weren't as lively. Most of what is discarded were flowers, and the occasional discarded gift was nowhere near the quality of previous years. With the collapse of the simp economy, there's not even worthwhile trash to pick up anymore. This young lady tried to capitalize on a couple's argument by scavenging for discarded gifts to make some money, but when she opened one, it turned out to be just a bag of dates. Look, there's a couple arguing over there. Oh my gosh, the gift is from Dior. I really don't understand how you can get rejected after giving a Dior gift. What's going on here, dude? You're something else. Putting dates in a Dior box to give to a girl. I thought I score when I picked this up. Do you think that's fair to the girl receiving the gift? She opened it full of hope, only to find dates inside. You don't even deserve me picking it up. Y'all, do you see this? So, a guy gave dates to a—that's a fruit to a girl—in a Dior bag and box, and then a woman tried to rummage through the trash after the girl threw it away, and she then began berating and insulting the guy for giving the girl dates, saying that you don't even deserve me for giving that girl the dates. Do you guys see how? How do you see the reason why men are walking away from where? From Western society, Westernized societies, and relationships, and in these societies, so this man is now going to be shamed on social media because some other girl picked up the garbage that this girl threw away, and it wasn't good enough for her. So it wasn't good enough for her to go and resell and make money off. They don't like us, guys. This only illustrates what I've said about women in Western society and Westernized society. They don't like us. They hate us. They do not like us to do something so horrible to another human being is truly horrific. Maybe that's all this guy had. All right, he was doing the absolute best he can. 
And now, just by association, women are watching men for in every possible way they can and making any possible move they can to shame them, insult them, guilt them, um, <laughs> guilt them, nag them, because they need to be right. Oh, and don't, let's just uh, let's not forget gaslight them. Like, th guys, they only see us as a means to an end. They only want our attention, our time, our money. They can like how we look. They can like the things that we can do for them. They can like things about us, but they do not like us. They do not like us as human beings. They absolutely detest us. A man will accept a woman for who she is. A man will have a wife. And as long as she is a kind, sweet person, she's fit, feminine, and friendly, okay? When she gets old, he's not going to put her out. Most men are not going to abandon a good wife. Most men are not going to take a wife that did that that has been that was there for him over the course of his life that was fit, feminine and friendly. She made sure his belly was full and his balls were empty. He is not going to betray his wife. No matter what happens, even if she becomes disabled, if she cannot lo no longer be with him physically, if she cannot do anything, he is going to care about for her and he is going to stick with her. That's the typical man. If she goes out and get a, gets a Chad or a Tyrone, that's a whole different story. If she gets a little poncho, that's a whole little story. Those men are not men, marriageable men. If she goes and messes with those men, she's going to end up finding out. They'll walk away from her the very moment that things go down, that she can't hold things down anymore, okay? You mess around, you find out. And so women don't deserve us. Women don't deserve us loyal men. They don't deserve men with good hearts. A lot of women in Western society have, have basically been conditioning men to be bad men. They've been conditioning men to play games. They've been conditioning men to act like women. They're furious about soft guy era. But who, 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 who created soft guy era? Women created soft guy era. Just like women created MGTOW. They're the ones who created it. They told men to leave us alone. Don't speak to us. Don't, you know, don't approach us. And now men are, are, are isolating themselves at home, separating themselves from society and relationships. And women are like, where are all the men? Why don't you want to want to approach us anymore? Why are you saying that, you know, that you're afraid to approach women? You're making it all up. It's in your head. Okay. They completely forget that they scorched the earth with M2, creating ground where nothing could ever grow anymore. All right. They forget the fact that they're still putting out videos all over social media, to, screeching and hollering if men even glance in their, in their direction or even make eye contact with them. They literally just chased men out of the gym over the last year, and they're acting like it didn't happen. They're still harassing men in gyms. It got so bad over the course of not a year, over the course of a couple of months, not a years, months, over the course of a couple of months, it got so bad with women harassing men in gyms that men stopped going to gyms. Men stopped going and gyms began banning cameras, banning cameras and banning women in gyms for what they were doing. And they still don't care. And they will never admit to anything that they've done. And they will just continue to gaslight everyone and act like we don't know why men don't want to talk or talk to us or why men don't want to date us. They'll put out videos where they're like, okay, men are no longer approaching us in gyms. Good. Don't approach me. But how? But if you're not approaching and I'm supposed to approach you, uh, men, how are we supposed to approach you? What? Why, do you, why does a woman think that after going on social media and saying that do not approach us, good, never approach us, but how are we supposed to approach you? If we cannot approach you, why do you want why would we want someone who is unapproachable to approach us? They are such on a they're on such a crazy power trip right now. All right. Who does these types of things? Dishonest people. Who does these types of things? People who do not have good character. It's not about being male or female. It's about being per a person of very bad character where you're trying to take advantage of another human being and abuse another human being just for personal gain. It is a form of mental, physical, psychological abuse. It is narcissistic abuse. That is what these individuals are engaging in today. And that's why so many guys are going MGTOW or entering into their soft guy air where they're like, okay, if you want to date, you're, you need to do certain things for me. And they're taking a page completely out of the playbook of women. They're just rinsing and repeating the exact same things that women said. 
And women are like, when men do it, it's, it makes you a loser. It's not okay for men to do it. When women do it, it's okay. But when men do it, it's not okay. So if men ask, ask for the same things that women were asking for, then it's not okay because they're saying that we were born to be servants. We were born to be slaves. Do y'all see, do you see what they have done? They have, they have relented us into a slave cat class while telling us that we are privileged and we should be grateful to be their slaves. But then at the same time, we are villains while they are our victims, but we are pathetic villains and they are powerful. They are powerful victims. And they think we are so dumb that we cannot understand that we are being mistreated and they will continue to push the same narrative alongside their sims that are trying to brainwash everyone by telling us that we should be grateful for the suffering. It is a privilege to suffer for them. Absolute joke. A disgusting amount of gaslighting. It is no wonder that the simp economy has collapsed. And as things continue to get worse, come 2030, 45% of women will be childless and single. In the United States alone, a hundred million women, hundred million women, every single year are finding themselves in increasing states of destitution in China. Hundred million. What do you think that's going to look like come twenty thirty? It's going to be devastating. You're going to have near to one billion people living in, living in extreme poverty, and men are not going to be doing anything. Men are going to watch everything collapse and burn and prioritize their own well-being. The average man could survive in a shoebox at the side of the road because men are minimalist by nature. And by men not getting married, not having children, and living below their means, they will ride out hard times. Men will men develop skills. Men cre- use those skills to create things, offer products, services, and then they trade those, they trade those skills or the things that they create for the things that they need. There are entire markets right now in the United States alone of bartering, where men are bartering using just skills and products that they create, services that they offer. And women are completely shut out of this market because they are so focused on the boomer dollar. That's what it is, the boomer dollar, that they don't know anything else. They're gathering up all this useless paper. They don't know anything about diversification. They're purchasing properties and houses and using them to live in and then, and then furnishing them all on credit when those are supposed to be rental properties. If you cannot afford to live in that house, if you, do not, if you don't have money, your first house is supposed to be a rental property. Your second house is supposed to be a rental property, all right? And then maybe after you have, maybe after your second house, then you can talk about having a house of your own. Yeah. I said it. Women want everything right now. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. They meet men at the finish line. They know that the average person in the United States is making only around fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year, and then they shame men on social media, saying that men need to step their game up because a million dollars is not a lot of money, and making a million dollars a year is not that difficult. Even though most, even though ninety nine percent of people are not able are they not able to do it. This is at, and women and the ones making fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year are the men. Women are making thirty to forty thousand dollars a year on average, so they're earning around twenty thousand dollars less than the typical man on average. That's that's at the very bottom. At the very bottom, the future for a lot of women is going to be homelessness, destitution, poverty, living in their cars, living in shelters, living in the woods. And men not subsidizing their living. And it's all because of the way that they treat men and and devalue men in Western society. The future is destitution. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my ebook, The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. Guys, what do you think regarding all of this? China's simp economy has crashed. Let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWM and walking away. And cheers.